Hello, so I'm sure a lot of you have used virtual back background when you're uh, using uh, one of the more popular uh, teleconferencing apps, for example, Zoom, right? So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna test out the, the NVIDIA RTX broadcast uh, background removal feature. And uh, I'm gonna use this uh, new, brand new, RTX 3060 tie to drive it, right? Let's see how well it stands up against Zoom's built-in background removal features, right? So as you see, I do have a green screen behind me. That's my usual setup. I use Zoom's uh, green screen option for virtual background. But uh, for testing purposes, uh, uh, we would also try like just what happens if you Remove the back, we remove the green screen and have a usual background behind, right? Okay, so here we go. Let's see how it works. To, to placement feature, you need a compatible graphics card, which at this moment includes or RTX series cards, uh, cards starting from the RTX 2060. And then you need to download the NVIDIA broadcast app Right, you need to download the NVIDIA broadcast app. And then uh, you see in this app, you have the option of selecting camera and then effect uh, background replacement, turn it on, select your desirable background video or image. And here you go, you see the effect. And then in Zoom or any other um, uh, teleconferencing app, you would see a new camera called uh, and I believe it called itself uh, NVIDIA Broadcast, right? So it's just, there's gonna be a new camera called NVIDIA Broadcast, and you can use that to, sh and it would show this very image on screen. This is with Zoom's virtual background on a solid colored background, right? So you can see that if I move around, the, my, the rest of my chair is actually visible momentarily right and if you move your fingers you can kind of see the big the background like i have actually have a green screen behind me and you can see right it's kind of a mess now what i have now is having the green screen option enabled in zoom you can see my the rest of my chair right it's quite visible it's there it's not like appearing and disappearing uh, by random, and uh, you know, if I move my hands, this looks kind of nice, right? Uh, and finally, this is the NVIDIA broadcast app, right? Running on a 360 tie. Now you see that it's the uh, rest of my chair is visible, right? And uh, I move around with my, like my hands, like it's pretty much, identical to using an actual green screen. Now I do have an actual green screen on my back, so maybe that helps. Uh, let's try removing it and see how that looks. Right, so I'm actually going to remove it like this and see, ooh, you yeah, actually, well, the uh, now it's the exposure change, that's the camera, not the, not the app. So. The, as far as the app goes, it actually managed to transition very well. Now, let me try uh, brightening the screen, right, by myself, right? Okay, so once again, let's try. All right, okay, All right. It, so, All right, once again, uh, uh, you can't see my screen, right? You can't see, uh, I see a bit right here. You can kind of see, but uh, by and large is managing your transition really well. So I would say, yeah, it's it's working very, really, it's working very really well, right? See, so the and so the NVIDIA broadcast background removal does work. Now, unfortunately, I you do uh, the you do need an RTX graphics card for this to work. And the cheapest model you can find is probably a 260, uh, which I would say it's uh, it's probably not worth its price new. But it maybe you can if you can find it cheap online, secondhand, 
well, then maybe it will work for you. If you want to buy a new one, the 360 tie is probably the model you want to go for right now until NVIDIA decides that they're going to release like a perhaps a 3050, right? Like because they didn't do so for the touring cards, right? So there wasn't a 2050 at all. So the minimum model you have to go for is a 2060 for this to work, right? But it does work if you have a compatible card. 